Hey guys, uh, here's part one. We're going to do the bottom layer, the bottom tier, and the bottom side. Now, for this video's sake, yellow is going to be the top and white's going to be the bottom. Uh, you can make any opposite sides, top and bottom. So you can make like red the top and the orange bottom, or green top and blue bottom. It doesn't matter. But for this video, we're going to use white and yellow. So yellow's our top, white's our bottom. Now, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to make a cross of white middle pieces, middle edge pieces, and yellow middle piece. And sorry if this is kind of shaky. Um, it's a bit of a weird setup I've got going on. I've got a tripod in my way, so this might hinder my um, performance. But that's okay. So we've already got one white piece on the top. So we're going to look on the sides, and here's another white piece, so we want to turn it to the top, which is, so yellow is our top, so now we've got two white pieces set where we want them. And you just keep doing this. We've got a white piece here, so we're going to turn the top, and then turn the white piece up. And right now, you don't have to worry about any moves except for these, like, you don't have to worry about moving anything in the wrong order because it's not going to matter. And we've got this white piece down here, so we're going to turn it up. Now what we want to do is we want to match. So, okay, first of all, we've got this. It kind of looks like a flower or a cross, whatever you want to call it. Um, now we want to match these pieces with their correct size. Now you can tell the sides by the color of the middle piece. So this middle piece is green, so this is going to be the green side. Uh, the reason is, is you can't move the middle piece. Um, it's always there. You can't, uh, it's always going to be in the same relation to the other sides, no matter how you turn the cube, unless you break it apart. Um, but that's beside the point. Anyways, so we've got white on top, blue on the side. So we're going to move the blue to match up with its side. So now I've got the top blue is matching with the middle blue and it's white so you're going to turn it 180 degrees so it's on the bottom now and you've got this guy this blue line and this white line and you're going to do that for the rest of them so green's already lined up so we'll just turn that 180 degrees and now we've got red so we're going to turn that 180 degrees and we've got orange so we're going to turn that 180 degrees so now we've got white cross on the bottom and these parts all match these this middle line okay so now we have to set these corner pieces so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look along the top the top row on the side and we're gonna say okay these have white corner pieces so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this corner piece and we're going to see what's on the other side the adjacent side so the adjacent side is blue so we want to match that up with the blue um, blue face so you've got this diagonal blue match white on this side and you're going to go left up top counterclockwise left down now this piece is set it's matching the blue side and it's matching the orange side and the white side so this guy's good to go, and these two guys are good to go because they're matching both their colors. So you're going to do that again. And here we've got orange. So let's do orange. You've got the orange diagonal line. You've got white. So you're going to do the same algorithm. You're going to go left up, top counterclockwise, left down. Now again, you've got this guy's matching this side, this side, and this side. So he's good to go. Now... I'm going to try to get it so that I can do the opposite side as well, which won't make sense right now, but trust me it will. Okay, so we found another white piece on the top, so we're going to, the other side is red, so we turn it to the red side. It matches diagonally with red, so we do it again, left up, top counterclockwise, left down. Okay, so matching, matching, matching. We're good to go. And these side, this bottom part's almost done. So now we've got the 
this last corner needs its yellow piece or white piece, but if you look, there's no white on the top tier on the side faces. It's on the top face. So what we're going to do is we're going to match this white corner with the corner underneath it which has no white. Now this is going to mean that you're not moving these white guys out of their spots because they're already matched so you don't want to move them, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to, this white guy is above where he needs to go and you're just going to do a simple algorithm to turn them onto the uh, side. So you're going to go right up, top, counterclockwise, right back down. Now, now you've got, he's on the side. His other side is red. So you're going to do, match it with the red. And now he's on the right uh, side. So you're going to go right up, top clockwise, right down. Now, this is the end of the first part because we've got the bottom tier is all the same, matching its face. And the bottom face is completely done. So that is the first bit of Rubik's Cube. Now, if I were you guys, which I was in your position if you're learning how, um, I did this, like I watched the video of each step like five times to get to finally understand how to move the algorithms and stuff. Um, and I just did it like for the whole rest of the day. Like I'd sit there for like 10 minutes and just do the algorithms until I got the bottom face and the bottom tier all done. And yeah, so if you're learning how I'd say do that, but it's up to you, right? Like you're free will, right? So next part, we're going to match these middle corner pieces in the middle tier with their appropriate blocks. So, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.